Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And don't mind the bonnet. I know I look like driving Miss Daisy, but I'm on my way to a hair appointment. It is very crazy right now where I'm at. And um, I wore this to my son's school parade. I, was, I thought he was going to say something, but he's used to his mama. So he knows the shenanigans I pull. Um, I had a video recorded for the next 48 and something weird is going on with my laptop and all of my things are deleted. So um, I just take it as it wasn't a message that needed to get out just yet. But I am pulling for the energies for this weekend that you need to know. And I, I had already started. I'm going to put these back, but I just want to show you and see what comes out. There's something here about abundance and guilt, okay? So feeling maybe guilty um, about your abundance or asking for too much is what I was getting with this. But it says abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. And, I re and guilt says I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So needing to release something completely. So you can receive the abundance because we have death at the bottom of the deck and that talks about transformations, okay? I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. So let me put those back and shuffle up and see what do you need to see? What are the energies for this weekend coming towards Aries? Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to live a clear message here for um, the Aries collective let's see what are the energies for this weekend so where i'm at right now we are in that weird spot i like somebody put a name to it we call it deep gras right it's the week before mardi gras when we have parades every single day um and it's kind of the best way i can explain it if you're not from louisiana it's kind of like that period between um christmas and new year's where you really don't know the day of the week you're just thugging it, you know what I'm saying? Celebrating, things like that. Um, that's where we're at with it. <laughs> so things are kind of crazy. It's just uh, getting together with family, friends, and having a good time. So let's take a look here. What are the energies for Aries for this weekend? Wow. Okay, so you got trust. It was interesting because this card tried to fall out. I have two decks together, and it tried to come out in the other deck. So it says... You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So this is about listening to your intuition. Beautiful, this energy of love this weekend. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. One more. What is the energy here for this weekend for Aries? What is the energy for this weekend for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Thank you. And we have kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. I love this. Kindness, love, and trust. I'm going to pull one from the goddess. Oracle rising deck. What is the overall energy for the weekend for Aries? Let's see here. 333 three, three on the clock. What is the two cards came out giving and receiving and which is ma'at and asheya which is joy oh, okay really good energy here this weekend really good energy i like to tell people when the energy is good you, the best way to say is capitalize off of that. First of all, be present in the moment. Feel, don't be moving too fast. Enjoying people, enjoying others. Even at the bottom of the deck is peace. Is peace. So you have trust, love, kindness, and now you have giving and receiving and joy. I know y'all see me a little flower up here. But uh, let me see where this book is. One second. Okay, I'm going to read this. Number 10, Ma'at. And it says, reset your harmonic, harmonic balance. You are out of alignment that sacred scales command you to give and receive. If you receive without giving, you are selfish and out of alignment. 
If you give without receiving, you are stuck in martyrdom and out of alignment. Giving and receiving is spiritual law and spell work. Give time, money, service, resources, and good vibes. If you are a generous giver, cultivate a practice of receiving. Receiving is a sacred feminine principle that makes many uncomfortable. Receive compliments, joy, support, pleasure, friendship, money, and love. They are all the same to spirit. Okay, the goddess decoration is I give easily and freely and I receive freely and easily. Okay, so that's beautiful. With the ma'at, giving and receiving, coming out with joy. So this is literally saying allowing yourself to feel good. Allowing yourself to receive joy, allowing yourself to receive love and trust that everything is going to be okay. So I feel like somebody here may be stuck or a little bit out of alignment um, or out of balance. Like you're always giving, but you're never receiving. You're never allowing yourself to receive. So the overall energy is kindness here. So being kind to yourself is... A must right now. I'm going to pull one card for love. I'm going to pull one kipper and then I'm going to pull one financial card. So if you're seeing this, the um, mini readings are still open. I will start sending out numbers tomorrow. Okay. As they start closing down. Okay. So let's take a look here. Holy Spirit, because and angels. It's one, it's $20 for one question. 35 for two, and all the details will be in the first comment. So we have here, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So for people who are in a relationship or have someone that you're connected to, Spirit is saying here to take it easy, give, right, as well as receive. Um, something here about balance with inside of the relationship. All right, give us a kipper here for the energy of the weekend. Ooh, we have distant horizons. Okay, so the distant horizons can be a timing card. It could talk about something that has been a long time coming in, that it is it is on its way. It has not fully come yet, but it is on its way. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could, it so could be somebody also at a distance because I saw a main male at the bottom of the deck. Tell us about distant horizons here for this weekend. We have high honor. So I feel like this is saying you're on the right path. We have lovers at the bottom of the deck. And let's pull a financial card. Holy Spirit, pick up some angels, please. Lay down on them. All right. What do you have here for the weekend? No more complaining, Aries. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. So affirm positivity over your finances this weekend, Aries. No more complaining, okay? No more complaining, only speaking positive over your situation. All right, so let's get to the tarot. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, we have the angels. For the Aries. All right, Spirit. So tell us what is the overall energy in the tarot for the weekend for Aries? What is the overall week energy for the weekend? Well, that's beautiful. We have four of wands. So this is happiness, celebrations, union. Some of you could be going, um, some of you could be at like a party or events. Um, some of you could be at home, right? But still content and happy because the four of wands could represent your home. Um, I'm seeing the tower underneath, but this is something, it could be, it could be something unexpected that's happening this weekend that makes you very happy. Okay. So that's another reason to not complain because there is, you also have the joy energy. So there is something coming in this weekend and we'll clarify the four of wands at the end all right so what's coming towards aries this this weekend that they should know about 
they have the five of cups, but it came crossing. So we'll clarify that. Sometimes it's it's letting go of sadness. It could be something regretful, remorseful. Let me see here. All right. And tell us what does Aries need to know for the weekend? Justice, balance, balancing out the scales here. We have the moon energy. Tell us, okay. Holy Spirit, Spirit as an angels. Please allow me to look clear my such here for the air that's collected. So there could be a little sad. Somebody may be feeling a little sadness, but I don't know if it's going to, yeah, I've seen the three of swords. Tell me, and so this might be the reason why you need to allow yourself to feel joy and to be kind to yourself. Tell us about the four of wands here for the overall energy for Aries this weekend. Page of wands, you're receiving a message. You're receiving some sort of message that is very exciting, some exciting news that is going to make you very happy. Um, it could put you in a celebratory energy. Tell us about the four of wands. Knight of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, something coming, information that's coming in very quick for you. Tell us what this information is for Aries. Ace of Wands, it's about a new opportunity. So Aries, there might be something very exciting, some sort of message. It could come in the mail. It could be an email. It could be word of mouth where somebody is literally sending you a message. All it is talking about, whatever this message is presenting to you, it is like a new beginning. It's a fresh of breath. It's a, yeah, a breath of fresh air. That's exciting. Tell me one more here about this four of wands energy. It could be a new opportunity when it comes to jobs. So all it's going to tell me is that there is a manifestation that is coming in for you this weekend. It's something that is going to be very exciting. It's going to come in very quickly and it's going to lead to some sort of new beginning for you. Okay. So tell us about this five of cups, seven of pentacles. Five of Pentacles, feels like a person. Tell me about this Five of Cups, what's coming towards Aries this weekend. And the Knight of Pentacles, I knew it. It felt like a person. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody who's regretful, sad. Somebody could be coming towards you with an apology. They're missing you. They feel left out in the cold. And that would make sense when you're in this very happy energy or you're about to be in this very happy energy, this celebratory energy. Somebody is kind of evaluating how they're going to come towards you. Um, they may send you a message. Yeah, Ten of Swords, there was some sort of ending. King of Pentacles, getting strong earth energy and they're wanting to come towards you maybe apologize but they're really feeling left out in the cold the justice card can be an apology as well tell us about the justice making something right i'm seeing the seven of wands and the six of cups so somebody from the past that you put your defenses up to the eight of cups somebody that you've walked away from it's libra energy page of swords they could be immature or there's just somebody who's spying on you they're watching you trying to get information on you, eight of wands here, and some messages come through. Tell us about the justice. What is being set right for Aries? What is being made right for Aries? Page of cups. Has something to do with a message, a friend, a person here. They want to apologize. They want to give you something this weekend here. Could be a phone call, a text message, but can Aries trust this apology? Can Aries trust this apology? The Hierophant, even if you can't, it seems like you're going to be protected. Yeah, the Three of Swords, I felt like you couldn't. But with the Hierophant com coming out, this is more like a teachable lesson for you, Aries, in some way. So this could be how you handle it, how you receive it. It's like your intuition could be going off, like red flags, red flags, wh whoever this is. But I feel like Spirit's like, there's a lesson in this for you, how you handle this situation, how you speak to this person, how you communicate to them. So, okay. So intuitively how I'm feeling is like, this is one of those situations that is about to get handed to you, where if you wanted to tear this person a new one, you could, and you would be in the right for doing so because of whatever they did to you. But Spirit is saying, this is about your elevation. So handling this the right way it is, is like even, even tearing them a new one, like cussing them out or doing whatever you would want to do, it's not going to do anything for you. Even if you would be in the right, it's not going to do anything for you. So it's fair saying you have a, the, a decision to make how you want to want to handle this. And I feel like you're going to handle this the right way, Aries, and be kind to yourself. 
Okay. That's what this is saying because extend yourself grace because I feel like whoever, seeing this person, meeting this person, hearing from this person could open up an old wound, could open up a wound because we got the three of swords here and um, could be triggering king of swords. So just remember that. Stand in your power. Don't allow them to take you to a place that you don't need to, to be, all right? Trust that your intuition is going to guide you on how to handle this situation. And also with the distant horizons and the high honor, remember where you're going, okay? Remember where you're going. If this is somebody from the past, you are passing them up. You have a future, okay, without them and a happy one, it seems like, because this weekend you're receiving some sort of message that is going to be very exciting for you, some sort of manifestation. Okay, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. That's the truth. So that's where I'm going to leave it for you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow because I will be posting the weekly. I may do it live. All right, so you guys take care. Bye.